what's up ghouls and welcome back to my channel it's a huge welcome back because oh my goodness i feel like i've not sat down and filmed in like literally all my fucking life this highlight is popping if you want to know what this highlight is it's flexitarian why am i singing oh, i don't know i'm in a good mood so my last upload was the 23rd of December, it's currently the 4th of January today, yeah the 4th, um, it's just over a week ago, maybe nearly two weeks, um, but I filmed that video like end of November maybe, so I have just not filmed in so long. So the biggest reasons I've not filmed is um, I lost my camera charger for about two weeks and I have nothing in my life would just go <laughs> well so my camera is really really weird it has a usb that sticks out of it and then you have to attach this weird little thing onto the end and then that has a usb on the end of that so that needs to be plugged into an adapter to then be plugged into the mains i don't know why it couldn't just have like a rechargeable battery make my life easy i don't know why but there you go and i lost the charger for a good two weeks could not find it anywhere um, and Jake ended up finding it when he was looking for something else. So then once I found it, I charged it up, I was ready to go. Then I got mad busy, was covering shifts at work and then I went to my mum's house and I don't mind filming at my mum's, that's not a problem. I just have no way to edit it because I myself am a genius, a very <laughs> intelligent individual and I bought a laptop with no USB port. Ladies and gentlemen, is my laptop. It's beautiful, it's a Mac, we love it, but this is the charging port which is not a USB, it's like a USB-C or something stupid and this is a headphone jack and that is it. That is all the ports on this laptop, nothing else. Why did I buy this? <laughs> um, yeah, don't ever buy this. Don't when I'm at my mum's I can't film any footage, I can't even upload anything, that is it, I can't, I can't do anything. So even if I did film, I couldn't upload it. So that is why there's been no new content. Also, my hair is black, finally. It's actually a very, 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 very dark brown. Um, I didn't want to fully commit to black um, because I'm doing an upcoming project, my final major project, which is going to be self-portraiture and I thought for like the whole look I'm going for that a really dark brown almost black would probably look best on a camera and um, suit my project so yes but I used a new hair dye um, and the green is coming through very evidently and I Mad. So basically I just wanted to use a hair dye that was cruelty free and vegan, um, not 100% necessarily vegan but definitely cruelty free and um, all of the drugstore options I could find were not cruelty free. There was one I found that sold in Holland and Barrett and I believe it's called Nature Tin. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested um, but going from my bright green colour to this dark um, brown black. I guess just didn't hold well um, so it's somewhat patchy so now I'm in a situation where do I just re-dye it and have more patchiness or do I go for something that's not cruelty free and then hate myself for it so I'm not really sure what to do I know there's dyes like um, Manic Panic and Directions are cruelty free however they're not permanent they're semi-permanent and they fade so quickly so I'm not really sure what to do. So if you have any suggestions for a black hair dye that is cruelty free and works well, please, for the love of everything, let me know in the comments section. So I'm pretty sure that's everything I needed to cover for this video as a I'm back type thing. But as it's January 2018, I'm gonna be telling you my New Year's resolutions. So, um, they're not necessarily resolutions, they're more goals I have, things I want to achieve or accomplish within the next year, um, just things to work towards. Um, I always find that if I set little goals and I set tasks for myself, then I feel more positive because when I beat a task or when I achieve something, I'm like, fuck yeah, I've got this, I feel good, um, and it generally helps lift my mood, so I like tasks and goals. 
Um, also, I'm hella competitive, so I have to just try and beat myself all the time. Um, so, I've made a list on my phone of everything I want to achieve in 2018. Okay, so number one on my list of goals I want to accomplish, this isn't in any particular order, it's not like most important to least, it's just stuff I wrote down as I thought of it. Sorry about noise, there's a Tufnels van outside, I thought they just delivered parcels, apparently they just bang around in their truck for no reason, um, it's fucking loud. So, number one thing is to keep up with my new skincare routine and I'm going to review it after one month to see if there's anything I need to change, products I need to swap out, anything I need to add in, stuff like that because um, obviously I'm not going to see a perfect amazing difference after like two days so beginning of February I'm going to review the routine but for those of you interested this is my current routine so oh my god I can't breathe <sighs> talking too much running around getting products I'm just so excited to be filming again Calm. this is my like morning section of the routine so I will start off with my cleanser and this is a this is, a, this is the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Softening Cream Cleanser. So it looks like this. Um, it's cruelty free, like 100% cruelty free, which is why I bought it. Um, I wanted a new skincare routine that like works and that's cruelty free. And I have seen nothing but five star reviews for this brand. So I thought I'd definitely give that a go. So I start my day by washing my face with this. Then I give it a quick tone with Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Enrich Calming Toner. So this, um, this and the cleanser are for normal, dry and very dry skin. I don't necessarily have like severe problems with my skin. Um, I don't have like loads of redness or acne or anything like that. Um, it's just um, my pores I guess I need to work on and um, I have dry skin so those are my biggest things. Um, so the next thing I use is Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Gel, which is, how the fuck do you say this, Sal salicylic acid. Um, this is for all skin types, so um, this is what I saw amazing reviews on. So it's a chemical exfoliant, I use this twice a day, morning and night, and um, it's just so good for creating a radiant even skin tone, unclogs and diminishes large pores and smooths wrinkles and fine lines. So I got this mainly for my pores, like I said, they're probably the thing that I'm most unconfident about, so that is what I wanted to try this for. Um, and so far it seems to be working really well, um, the worst pores I had were along here and along my nose. This area seems to have cleared pretty well, I'm really really happy with how it's working so far. Uh, my nose is taking a lot longer, probably because it's so <laughs> awful, but um, I'm definitely seeing an improvement and I've only been using it for about a week and a half, so I'm pretty happy. Um, then I will follow up with a moisturiser. I didn't buy a Paula's Choice moisturiser because I recently bought this one. Uh, this is the Be Confident Moisture Gel from Superdrug. Um, it's a good cruelty-free uh, drugstore brand. It's not anything amazing, it is literally just a moisturiser, but that's am I out of focus? There we go. But that's all I wanted, just a moisturiser. Um, so as far as it goes, it's pretty good. Then before my makeup, I use the Mabel and Meg Luma Elixir Serum. Um, this is vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and this shit is so good. It's 29 pounds for this little bottle, which is very, very pricey, but I feel that it does work well on my skin. I feel hydrated and moisturized and my skin feels so soft. So I really love this. So that is my morning routine. Um, in the evening, before I cleanse, I will just wipe all my makeup off with these makeup wipes. These are just cleansing facial wipes from Superdrug. Again, cruelty free. Um, and these were three for two, so I just picked up loads. And they're just for normal skin. So I'll wash all my makeup off with that. I will go through with my cleanser, my toner, and the, what is it, the BHA gel. Um, and then moisturize, but I don't use the Luma Elixir Serum at night because it's so expensive. I want to save it, so I just use it in the morning. Um, the only other thing I do differently at night is in the morning I'll just use any normal toothpaste that I have um, but in the evening I use my carbon cocoa um, if you guys have seen my video on it before um, I unboxed and reviewed this little set so it comes with the this is the um, why can I not breathe today 
this is the activated charcoal so you dip your toothbrush in that then you brush your teeth with it don't swallow it rinse your mouth out and then you use the carbon cocoa toothpaste that matches i find this works so well so i didn't take this to my mum's with me because i was scared that it was going to like explode in my bag or something and there was going to be black powder everywhere um and for that week i was away i could see the kind of yellowness to my teeth coming back um, but when I use this, I feel like my teeth look so much nicer. So I have implemented this into my everyday routine. And so I use this every night. And oh, the only other thing I add in is every two or three days, I use this Body Shop Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. So basically what this does is you pump maybe one or two one and a half pumps onto your hand, rub it in and then you rub this all over your face once you've cleansed. Um, and you'll start to see all these little peels come off um, and it looks so gross but what it's doing is it's pulling off all of the um, the dry skin all of the dead skin that you no longer need on your face um, and I found since using this that my skin isn't as dry anymore and I'm really 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 happy with this product I think this retails for about 18 pounds but it's so worth it it's lasted really well I've had this since maybe mid-november um, so it's, it's a fucking good product so on that note, I have a small giveaway, nothing crazy, but Carbon Coco were nice enough to send me a, another pack. So we have the activated charcoal toothpaste, the activated charcoal itself, a bamboo toothbrush, and it looks like a little bag or something. I didn't get that in my kit, so like, you get a free bag with it. Um, so I'm going to do a small giveaway for this set. I believe it retails for about $69.95 Australian dollars. I don't know what that is in UK money, but I sure as hell don't have $69.95 Australian dollars to spare. So I'd say it's a pretty good deal. I freaking love these products. So I almost kept it for myself, but I feel like I should share the love. So if you are wanting to win this little bundle, it's open to anyone, anywhere. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be like mega expensive to post, but it should be fine. So this is open to anyone. All you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel because this is just for you guys. You need to make sure you like this video and comment down below and tell me one of your new year's resolutions or goals. And then I will randomly pick Put all your names into a generator randomly pick and one of you can win this little pack of goodies um this video also is not sponsored by carbon coco they sent me that pack and they were like you can do a giveaway keep it for yourself it's up to you doesn't matter um and it's not like sponsored in any way i'm just doing a giveaway so my next new year's resolution is to become more dedicated to sticking to a vegetarian and or and or a vegan lifestyle so um, at home we try to eat as vegan as possible, we don't have any dairy in the house, um, it's all soy milk, vegan cheese, vegan cream, vegan butter, um, we try to be as vegan as possible, um, when we're out we try to pick the most vegetarian or vegan options, however we still occasionally eat chicken, um, so this year I'm going to be more dedicated to sticking to a vegetarian, at the very least, vegetarian lifestyle. Um, I just feel like it's so difficult nowadays to pick something that you're gonna try and so if I say I'm gonna try veganism, like people are so quick to tell you you're doing it wrong, that's not vegan, you can't do that, blah, 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 rather than to be like, hey, check out this blog, it's really, really good for veganism, or have you seen this restaurant? Their menu's so good, or you know, they're more quick to judge than they are to help, so that's why I'm not like, guys, I'm vegan. Like, mm -mm, I'm just trying. Um, the next thing is I put to save 30% of all income, but on reviewing that, I don't know if that's gonna be doable because I only have a part-time job, I don't earn loads, so I don't know if it's gonna be feasible to save 30%, so maybe more 10 to 15%, but anything I save will be an improvement because I can't save for shit. Also, what I have been doing is, in my um, unicorn fund at piggy bank i don't know if you guys remember but i showed this in my what i got for my birthday haul um since then i i think when i started i had two pounds in there i now have 32 um or or do i have more no i think i have 32 i think um every time i have any kind of loose change at work i always swap it over for two pound coins um and then 
if I have like a note and there's enough coins I'll swap it over so I'm just trying my best to I will never let myself spend a two pound coin to always sit two pound coin and I save it to pop in there. Um, the next thing is, this is so boring and so adult, um, build my credit score by obtaining a school building credit card. How exciting. So um, Jake and I have signed a 18 month tenancy for the flat that we are in now. Um, so after the 18 months is up, we are looking to move further north, probably to somewhere, either Sheffield or Manchester, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, and we'll probably live there for about six months and then we're wanting to be putting down a deposit on a home so um, we're going to need to be applying for a mortgage and stuff like that so obviously I need a good credit score so um, <laughs> this time last year I literally didn't have anything in my name I had no bills in my name no phone contract I literally had no credit score so this past year I've been well this past six months maybe I've been trying to get somewhere in building a credit score and now there's loads of random little things you can do to boost your credit score but the biggest one is going to be like a credit card or a loan I don't want a loan I don't want to be anywhere near a loan so I'm just going to grab a grab I'm going to get a credit card and then just pay for like my food shops and stuff and then just pay it straight back so that I can carry on with my life as normal but build my credit score at the same time yes that is my plan how adult of me I know who would believe it Blaze, trying to get her life together. Watch this space for absolute chaos. Um, the next step or next goal is to research more into witchcraft and do at least two witch related activities a week. Um, two years ago I was mega into um, just witchiness, like my life was tarot and crystals and uh, rituals anything really I could do that was witch related I was obsessed and then I started getting so busy with uni and then I got a job and so currently I balance oh, um, my degree uh, work experience at the moment is quieting down but end of January it's going to pick up again so I'm busy with that um, I also have my part-time job where I work three shifts every week and then keeping the flat tidy doing you know laundry and chores I also have YouTube two videos every week I have a lot going on but I feel like in my downtime I don't want to waste it just sat on the sofa watching TV I want to like do something so I would love to get back into witchcraft and feel more at peace and at one with the earth yes <laughs> um, the next thing is um, about my stretched ears this ear is at a 10 and this ear is at like 3 or something um, and I want both to be at either 16 or 18 I haven't decided yet um, so yeah this one you know I'm pretty much almost there this is definitely ready to go up to a 12 and this oh my goodness I need to just sort my life out and actually stretch this ear um, I want to complete both forearms this year which is quite a big goal um, so this arm I currently have three tattoos um, so the next one I'll be looking at getting will go somewhere along this blank space the other arm I only have two tattoos so I've got a lot of work to do on this arm but I don't want to start getting tattoos all over I kind of just want to fill this and then move on on that note I really want to get the back of my thighs tattooed um, but I would only get that after I've done my forearms and I also need to get a passport because I want to go away so badly but I don't have a passport yet so I need to do that so those are my new year's resolutions i really hope this video hasn't dragged on too much i just have so much to say um and i am so happy to be back on youtube so i really really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video don't forget to take part in the giveaway if you want to win some carbon cocoa goodies um yeah so don't forget just to recap you need to be subscribed to this channel like this video and comment down below and tell me one of your new year's resolutions or goals also if you really really want to win i will enter your name twice if you follow my instagram as well which is at macabre underscore goddess but it's in the description box of every video so thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time bye